Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out app.skiff.com. Now this is a service that people have been asking me to check out for a while. Um, it is a pretty free service. Uh, the, they have a paid model and a free service. The free service is pretty generous though. Um, so that's one reason I haven't made a video. You know, lots of times when there's all these like um, free services out there that you can try yourself. Um, in some ways reviews become less valuable because you could just try it yourself. But I did want to make a video on this one because a couple people on the channel have been asking me to make a video on it. And so I have the creators. So I'm going to make this here for you guys. Give my general impressions of what Skiff is like starting it up for the first time user. If it's worth using and my general thoughts on it. Um, so this is what it looks like first off. I'm going to be starting my email address here at Skiff. So tomspark at skiff.com. I guess I could kind of pick some kind of color here. So we're going to go ahead and click next. We're going to make a password for my password management. I use Bitwarden. Also guys, if you're interested, I did make a video on how to self host Bitwarden with Vault Warden. Self hosted um, is really nice. So check that out on the channel if you're interested. Um, so we're going to be going ahead. <clears throat> there is my secret recovery key. I'm going to have to blur that out. Uh, and we could do a backup email. Oh yeah, let's also turn on some lights here just so you guys could see me a little bit better. We have pages and drive um, where you can write personal notes and mail. Um, so um, you get access to both, but you get to try it first. So let's go ahead and go to the mail. So this is the basic interface, pretty nice. Um, and there also is a mobile app, nice. So you could just do the QR code there. Um, and it looks like these are what the mobile apps look like. So pretty cool. Hopefully they have dark mode. Um, so pretty cool. Let's go into the settings and see what we have. We have some basic colors. I like the delete account option. Very nice. Recovery email address. Um, appearance. You can do light or dark mode. Wow, that light mode actually looks pretty nice. I kind of like it. Um, we have the full view and the split view. Aliases. That's pretty nice as well. Um, we can also do the different aliases with kind of cryptocurrency integration. If that's something you're into, you can also just add another alias. So we could do like fake Tom spark. So another alias, really nice, easy to do there. We have the security, um, verification phrase, uh, to verify your identity. Um, I'm looking to see if they have any two FA. I don't see any right here. Um, so that's something to think about. Um, we have the ability to import various emails from Gmail. That's really cool. Very easy to do. Um, nice that they put the, the directions right there as well. Notifications, signature, you could add a signature, auto reply, pretty nice. Um, so you can also, um, earn skiff credits by completing different tasks. Um, so if I invite you, I can earn $10. Um, and if you download these different things, so that's kind of interesting. Um, so guys, I'm going to put my referral link in the description down below. If you click on that link, I'll be able to make 10 bucks or just get $10 credit for Skiff. They don't have an affiliate program yet. Maybe one day they will. Um, so if you use my link in the description down below, it should be able to help me out here, get some of these bonuses. So check that out. Um, pretty cool. All right. So what else do we have here? Let's, let's see if we could make a, a little email, see what it looks like. Um, so Tom spark at skiff.com test hello so we'll send it and let's see if it kind of refreshes auto refreshes see how long it takes um we'll just push this button it didn't really seem to auto refresh there it is so we have our little email pretty cool um has report spam functions and things like that i would like to see if skiff has a unsubscribe button i know some emails do that um, so it would be nice to have that. I don't see it here, um, but you know, it could, oh, I like the block feature. That's really nice to have. I love that feature on Gmail. So it's nice to see that here. Really nice. Overall, I'm actually really digging Skiff so far. It does seem to have a really nice interface, pretty solid features. Um, this does seem to be about the gist of, you know, the, the mail. Um, it does seem to be 2FA is an, is, can be enabled. Um, so two-factor authentication. Interesting. I didn't really see that before, but now it's here. 
So we do have that. That's really nice um, to uh, incorporate. Um, so this is this app.cf dashboard. Um, perhaps that's why we see it now. Um, a little different from the email stuff. So this seems to be um, kind of like the page stuff. So skiff page. Um, here are my documents. So pretty nice, pretty simple to do. Um, how does the editing work exactly? Um, so you can make it a bigger heading, change the color pretty easily. Um, and you could kind of migrate things around. That's really nice. Um, and then let's say, uh, let's see if we can make a list. One, two, um, can you make like a uh, indent, divider, body, bolted list, to-do list, there you go, numbered list. So skiff, okay, that's pretty cool. A table, ooh, I really like that table, pretty nice. Yeah, so this seems to be pretty fully featured. Um, really nice, seems to be a really good text editor. Um, here we have some more settings um, for this specifically. Let's go into dark mode, looks really good. Um, and then we also have the ability to import files, upload and Google Drive, upload from Google Drive. So it kind of incentivizes you to switch over. Here we have the plans, um, storage for 10 gigabytes, 100 gigabytes. Um, so the, like I said, the free plan is pretty generous and it doesn't skimp on any of these features. I guess you just get better support and just more storage overall. Um, so this is pretty cool. You could also use decentralized um, uh, interplanetary file system. Um, what exactly is that? So it seems to be some kind of peer-to-peer -peer protocol um, connecting hosts. Um, it's based uh, to replace the World Wide Web. So that is interesting. Could you stick with uh, the, the SCIF server though? So we have, this is the skiff page. Um, we have some shortcuts here that you could take advantage of. Um, we have the mail. Okay, so you kind of navigate like this, back and forth um, to do your stuff. And you can upgrade to pro. And so you got the pages and the mail is the main kind of thing. So it's kind of like you have Google Drive for or Google Docs and the Google Mail. Um, so overall, my first impressions from Skiff are pretty good. Uh, it does seem to be a pretty good email. It does seem to have pretty good document support. Um, so if this is something you're into, definitely check it out. Use my referral link down in the description and pin comment. Check Skiff out and tell them that I sent them your way. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking this one out, and I'll see you again very soon.